Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the process of purchase agreement in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Purchase agreements are used to define a purchase commitment with the vendor, right? So these are committed quantities which we are confirming or committing to the vendors that we are going to lift it from them over a period of time. So this is different from the trade agreement. So as we look into the process, you will get a clarity on this purchase agreement. So in order to create a purchase agreement, go to procurement and sourcing module, click on purchase agreement and then purchase agreements. So inside the purchase agreement inquiry page, click on new and here select the vendor with whom you want to create a purchase agreement. So here I am planning to select a vendor add his supply and then uh, after selecting the vendor account select the purchase agreement classification this is actually mandatory in order to select uh, in, or in order to identify and use it for reporting and analyzing purposes so i'm selecting the classification as blanket purchase agreement and the most important part is selecting the default commitment so the commitment can be of four types either it can be a, a for, based on quantity or it can be based on the value or it can be for a specific category or it can be based on the overall value instead of product for a specific product it can be for a overall value of the purchase orders so it can be for any of these four types so in this case i am going to select the product quantity commitment so once product quantity commitment is selected now we can click on ok so once i click on ok so the purchase agreement id is created so here you can if you want you can change the currency and uh, update the default commitment also here microsoft help text gives a detail about what exactly i have explained right now and you can define the effective date so i am giving the effective date as today's date and the expiration can be at the end of the this year 31st december 2024 so now then i add the line so after adding the line i need to add the item number let's say here i am going to add the item number a001 okay so and then i click on the site i need to give the site details and i am making a commitment to purchase thousand quantity this year from the vendor addy supply and uh, I for purchasing the thousand quantity and i'm making a commitment to the vendor that hey i am for sure i'm going to place a order for thousand quantity this year for this item so for that the vendor is willing to offer me a discount of 1.5 percent with a unit price of maybe 13.23 dollar right so i have updated my purchase agreement now if you scroll down further in the general tab you also have the option to enable max is enforced once if max is enforced then we are saying to the system that no orders can be placed which is greater than 1000 quantity so if i place a order which is maybe 1001 then system will not allow us or it will ask us to remove the link with this purchase agreement which is 000180 and uh, you can also define the minimum release amount let's say for this item 1000 quantity we are saying that this purchase unit price is 13.23 so I'm saying to the system that if, if the minimum order value is 200, then allow it to be released and maximum it can be up to 1000 and it cannot be more than 1000. So this is the amount with which I want to process the purchase orders. So after updating these details, you click on save. I will also tell you that in the price and discount tab, it is giving the detailed breakup of the discounts on the price per unit. And in the fulfillment tab, we will be able to see what is the agreement quantity, how much is released, how much is received and invoiced, all those details can be seen. And uh, in the product dimension tab, you can give the product dimensions if uh, if applicable or else all those fields will be cleared out. So after giving the relevant details, you save the purchase agreement and click on confirmation. So once I confirm it, it became effective. So now this purchase agreement is effective. So now all I have to do is I need to navigate to purchase order and create a purchase order for add a supply. So I click on new, I select the vendor account and then uh, this is a purchase order. And then I select the site and warehouse and then here I need to select the purchase agreement. 
with which I want to process this purchase order. So it is asking us to convert the currency in delivery address. Yes. Then I click on OK. And now it creates a purchase order. Now here I am going to add the item A001, the same item. The moment I add the item, the unit price is automatically fetched from our trade, not from our trade agreement, but from our, the purchase agreement because purchase agreement is always taken as priority number one instead of a trade agreement. So here, if you see the discount percent 1.5 is also applied and the net amount is right now. When I update the quantity as 100, system throws error because if you remember the maximum release amount, what we have given is 1000. So it is not allowing us to do. And at the same time, if I give the quantity as 2, still system will throw error because the minimum release amount which we have given is 200. And that's the reason we are unable to process this order. So we can, so this is a warning, but still we can go ahead and process this purchase order. But currently I'm giving a quantity of uh, maybe 60. So this is well within the limit what I have given in that uh, purchase agreement. So I am confirming this purchase order. So the moment I confirm this purchase order, the quantity 60 will be updated in the purchase agreement as released. So now if I go back and uh, if I go back to our purchase agreement, which is created uh, 0180, in the fulfillment section, I can see that out of 940, now 60 is released, right? I can also process a purchase order directly from the purchase agreement. If I click on release order, from here also I can process the purchase orders. Here I need to give the quantity. Let's say I'm processing another 40 quantity. Then I click on create. So D3 will immediately create a purchase order for this particular purchase agreement. You can also at any point in time check the related information release order lines. If you want to see the purchase orders which are already processed. So this will be helpful for you to understand how many quantities have been processed, which but in which particular purchase order, all those details will be available. So this is the basic process of using the purchase agreements in Microsoft Dynamics 365. And of course you can use a purchase agreement fulfillment report. If you want, you can uh, enable the site and other parameters if required. And then if you hit the OK button, it will generate a report and show you how much of purchase agreement with respect to each and every vendors or process which are invoiced with respect to each and every vendor the system will throw you the message let's say then in our case we have processed the purchase agreement for uh, yeah ID supply so system quickly tells us that out of thousand quantity against the purchase agreement 180 now we have released 100 quantity right it shows the expiration and effective date also you can also export this in the PDF or Excel and uh, publish it to your management for reports. So this is the in general, the basic process of purchase agreement in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Hope you enjoy the video. Follow my profile if you have not started following it because on a daily basis, I share some useful tips and information about Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operation. And of course, some office related post which are thought provoking during the weekends. Thanks for watching this video.